Okay, so we'll be looking at the learning journal for CS 1101, and this is unit one. All right, so the question that we're looking at is going to be testing out different bits of code and making errors deliberately so that we cause compiler messages to give us warnings and that we can learn from them. So the description of the question is here in front of you now, where to experiment with codes and intentionally introduce errors into the code, uh, look at the output and then explain our answers. Alright, so we'll be looking at trying to print a string and leaving out a quotation mark and see what happens with the output, what happens when we try to run that code. So we'll head over to the code screen. We're using replit.com as our online IDE for Python. With this, it makes it much easier, but if you wish to do this on your local computer, the steps would be similar uh, once you get to your own local window command prompt. I recommend using replit.com as it makes doing this coding exercise easier and you can copy the output and submit your answers to the journal pretty easy using replit.com. Uh, it's free to sign up so I suggest you head over to replit.com R-E-P-L-I-T dot C-O-M and create your free account and start coding in Python if you haven't done that already. So I have my screen already prepared and I'm going to type a print statement and remove one of the quotation marks so that I introduce an error. It doesn't matter which one you remove first, you can remove the first one or the last one. Uh, please note, any examples you see in this video, do not use my exact variable names. Create your own string names or your own variable names that are different. Don't use the exact words I use or variable names that I use. Please avoid plagiarism so that your work is not graded zero or worse that you get into a violation with the university. All right, so once we run it first with the proper quotes, we have no error messages. We won't see anything printed because that's simply a variable. Okay, but if we remove one of the quotes, I'll remove one from the end and we run the program. Um, now we see we have a compiler error, which we can copy out. We can read this later, but we can copy this code out this error message for the code out, I should say. And we could create a Google Docs and paste it in there as a way of storing that information while we put our journal document together. Uh, if you don't want to use Google Docs, you can use whatever works best for you. Uh, Google Docs just makes it easier because you can work with it online while you're doing your coding and also it saves your work automatically. So you don't have to worry about losing your work if you didn't remember to save. All right, so we'll go back to our code screen and make sure that we have copied out the code error message properly. Alright, replacing the quotes uh, removes the error message because uh, the co code is now correct. There are no errors. Alright, um, so removing the quotes causes an error. So we're just checking that once more, grabbing the error message again. This time we're going to copy the error message out and we're going to paste it in our Google Doc. Okay, so here I have pasted it in the Google Docs. So now I just need to type some words around it to explain the experiment I'm doing and also to explain the output that I received and why I think it did what it did. If you're using any citations, remember that those must be cited properly using APA guidelines. I'll give you an example of that in the document. Uh, if it comes from the textbook, then you use the textbook author's name and the year of publication in curved brackets. All right, so I am going to put the code that I use. So your code will be different. Uh, this is my particular string that I'm using here. So this is my code example, but yours will be different. Remember, please avoid plagiarism. 
and then you can just follow the guide that I'm doing to give you an example of how to start the question off. Okay, so here is where I'll be explaining that I'm getting the error message EOL while scanning screen literal. So you're going to use your textbook to give you information as to why this error is occurring. You can search on Google if you want to use other sources, but make sure that you put the references at the end of your work for whatever sources you use in APA format. If you're using the textbook to help you understand the EOL message, you might want to do a Google search with the Think Python book to find out what does EOL mean. Okay, but if you're not using the Think Python book, please use the correct source if it's a web page or a book. Remember, if you don't quote your source, you will be penalized for plagiarism because the ideas must have references. Just always put the references if you want a good grade. All right, so in-text citation is done in this manner here. That's only if you happen to be using this book. Remember, this is different from the references which come at the end of your document. And I'll show you an example of that when we get to the second part or the final part of the journal question. All right, so remember, uh, use unique Python code. Do not use the code that I am using in this video. Please avoid plagiarism. I have to warn you several times, this is very important. You can get a terminal grade zero or be expelled if this is reported that you are plagiarizing, okay? Um, create your own examples that are similar to, but different from mine, okay? All right, so we want to remove both quotes and try that error message because remember the question said to remove one quote, test out the code, and then try another message with both quotation, uh, both, both quotes removed. Okay, so I'm going to fix this string here so that it gives us that error message without both quotes being on. Um, I don't want the first string to create an error message, so I'm going to make sure that I fix that up. Uh, we just want one error alone to be on the code screen. So I'm just going to create an error just for that purpose. All right, this is a comment that I'm making just to let you know what we're doing here. You do not need to add this comment to your code or to your journal document. This is just to explain what I am doing here at this point in the demonstration. 
I'm testing a missing quote symbol. Alright, so both quotes are removed. And we get a different error than the first time around. So we did get a syntax error this time. It's not the same EOL error that we got when we removed only one quote. And we need to explain why this happens. So again, uh, you can research this on Google or you can use a textbook to find the answer. And when you do, you paste it in your document and you use your in-text references if that's something that you need to do. What do you think is happening here? When you remove both quotes, what is Python expecting that you were trying to do by assigning that example there? So that's what you're basically explaining. Why that? Why was the error caused? Because you didn't get the string um, to work. So what caused that to be a problem? What was it expecting? If you'd like, you could try this in a print statement. That's one way you could do it. And you could see what happens with that. All right, so that's an example of an in-text citation if you need to use it. Once again, please remember, use your own unique words when explaining the code and your own unique code examples. All right, please check the description for the link to part two.